Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Welcome to part three, the final part of my Force Change Password series. Of course, if you haven't watched parts one and two, go watch those first. You'll find links down below. We now join the program. Uh, yeah, yada, yada, yada. You know it. You, you know the drill. And now we can continue on to Disneyland. I'm just kidding. Continue on to the main menu. Do command, open form, main menu, F, and then do command dot close, AC form. Well, let's just do, let's just do comma, comma, AC save yes. You could put AC form, me dot name, AC save yes, but those are the defaults, the current object. Okay. And AC save yes is for you, the developer, so you don't accidentally close the form without saving it, because if you put AC save no in there, and your end users can't save it because they're working with an ACCDE file and they can't save design changes. Okay, okay. All right, so throwing a debug compile, I think we're just about good here. Let's give it a test. I'm gonna close the database. I'm gonna open it up. And okay, username, Richard. Let me put the wrong password in. And incorrect password, close this down. Perfect, that's what we want. You can give people three attempts if you want to, I just close the database. It makes it harder for them to, I gotta come back in. I think my password before was 599CD. All right, your password's more than 30 days old, please change it. Okay. You could slide this over if you want to, so it's in a different spot, but it doesn't matter. All right, so password one, I'm gonna go A, B, C, D, all lowercase. Let's go A, B, C, D, E. Eh, don't match. Okay, this you can give them as many times as they want, really. Um, and maybe for this, you might want to drop the focus back on password two. That's definitely an option. I'm going to click on this button to bring the code editor back up. Look at that. So let's go back to the other form. Actually, no, what am I saying? It's, it's right here in front of me. Um, I don't want to have to put in here, you know, uh, exit sub, exit sub. I don't want to have to put in conditions for all that. So what I'm going to do is just right before this stuff executes, I'm going to say password two dot set focus. Because then it's either going to exit the form, exit the form, exit the form, or update and exit the form. You're not going to care. You see what I'm saying? So it's either going to do the update and leave, or it's just going to exit and put you back on password two. So that evolve, that that avoids having to put a whole bunch of if-then clauses with other stuff in here, or multiple copies of password two dot set focus. All right, so back in here. All right, I got stuff that's not right. Enter. Passwords don't match. I'm sitting right back on password two. See how nice that is? It's all about the user experience, people. Make it easy for them. All right, let's leave one of them blank. Update password two missing. Oh, okay. All right. Let's put A, B, C, D, but all caps. Let's see if that uh, upper lowercase thing. Ah, there we go. See? I typed in lower, all uppercase. And now let's do it right. A, B, C, D. Enter. And what happened here? Let's see. Okay. All right, okay, this is a mistake. This is a Rick mistake. I'm leaving it in the video to teach you what I just did. Remember over here, I was being cheesy, right? Right here. And I said, close. And normally, this is the object that you're working in, right? The defaults are the current form, and it gives the name of the form. That's the default. But can anyone see the problem here? Watch what happens if I click update. Do you see it? The main menu is flashing and then closing immediately because I messed up. But like I always do, I'm leaving my mess ups in the code in the video so you can see it and learn from it, right? Once you open another form, that is now the current form, <laughs> okay? So what I was initially going to do, I have to do here. And there's a reason why that code is in my outline that I made because you need it. So AC form. And then, and if you if you want to see all the all the IntelliSense with it here, right over, right? Do close space AC form, comma. You could put the object's name in here, all right, or just me dot name. And yes, this will get the name of the form that you're working with. It won't get the current one that's open. And then again, AC save yes. Okay, now save it. This is the correct code. I was trying to be. I was trying to. I was trying to cut corners before. I thought that would work. Anyway. Ready? And go. And there's your main menu. The other form is closed in the background. And if you check your table, there you go. A, B, C, D. 
and the date has been updated. <laughs> Not that hard. Easy enough to do, right? If you want to add a new user, of course, you, the admin, you can make your own little admin form, right? If I put a username of Kirk in here, give him a password of one, two, three, don't leave a date in there, right? Close it down. Kirk goes to log in. Okay, Kirk with his temporary password, one, two, three. Got to change your password. What do you want? All right, 1701, 1701, enter, and it's good. Check the table. And there's my new password. Everybody good? Everybody good. We're happy. We're done. Like I said before, you want to do a little more with this stuff? You like this? All right. In the extended cut, we're going to do strong passwords. Four to 20 characters, a lower and uppercase, a digit, a special character, and a little button here you can click on to see your password. All right. You've seen these on websites before. You want to be able to see what this is. So make sure you type that in right. You click the little button here. Peekaboo. Right? <laughs> Peekaboo. Okay. So that is covered in the extended cut for the members, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos and gold members can download these databases and have access to the code vault. Now, as I mentioned in the user level security video, the tips I show you in that video are good enough for most office environments. But if you really want to secure and lock down your database, I recommend my security seminar. I go through many, many more techniques for locking down your access database as good as can be. Is it perfect? No. Access really can't be. It's as, it's as secure as you can make access. All right, if you want true, real security, you need a database server like SQL Server. But at least in this seminar, I show you how to make it as secure as possible. And even the techniques that I show you in this seminar are good for if you are using SQL Server, this stuff will help you lock down your front end. So check it out. There's a link. I'll put a link down below. And if you do enjoy learning with me and you want more training and VB and stuff like that, check out my developer lessons. I got 40 some levels and each level is at least an hour. So it's like, I don't know. I haven't added it up lately. It's like 70, 80 hours of training. Check it out. There's a link. And of course, no database would be complete without quality SQL behind it. Like I just showed you in today's class. So I got a three part SQL seminar it teaches you everything you need to know. Even if you just take parts one and two, that's mostly select queries and then action queries in addition to union queries and stuff. Part three is all about modifying the structure of a database with SQL. So that's all cool too, but check it out. If you want to learn more, there's a link down below. So there you go. There's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Members, I'll see you in the extended cut. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. 
It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject, and I cover Lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a Diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.